Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a fun little problem. If x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0, then find the value of x to the power of 5 plus 1 over x to the power of 5. I thank Satvik in India for the suggestion. It turns out this type of problem is very common in standardized tests in India. So what's the systematic way to solve it? Let's go through it step by step. Let's focus on the known quadratic equation. My first instinct, and perhaps your first instinct, would be to solve for the value of x directly. So if we have a general quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, we know the values of a, b, and c. a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3, and c is equal to 1. So we can use the quadratic formula that x is equal to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, and we simply substitute in, and we just need to simplify this, so we get that x is equal to 3 plus or minus root 5 all over 2. But now we need to calculate the value of x to the power of 5 plus 1 over x to the power of 5. This doesn't seem like a very easy calculation. We need to take 3 plus or minus root 5, and we need to raise that to the power of 5. This is not impossible, but it would be a tedious calculation. So is there a better way to solve this? So start out with x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. You first want to make sure that x is equal to 0 is not a root. So let's see if we substitute x is equal to 0. We get that 0 minus 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So x is equal to 0 is not a root of this equation. We can safely divide both sides of the equation by x, and we are not going to be dividing by 0. So let's rearrange this equation. Let's add 3x to both sides, so we get x squared plus 1 is equal to 3x. Now, since x is not equal to 0, let's divide both sides of the equation by x. We get x squared over x plus 1 over x is equal to 3x over x. x squared over x simplifies to be x, and 3x over x simplifies to be 3. Therefore, we have the equation x plus 1 over x is equal to 3. So let's focus on this equation. We know the value of x plus 1 over x is equal to 3, but how do we get the value of x to the power of 5 plus 1 over x to the power of 5? Let's start by squaring both sides of the equation. So the square of x plus 1 over x is equal to the square of 3, and 3 squared is equal to 9. We can square the left-hand side. This will turn out to be x squared plus 2x multiplied by 1 over x, plus 1 over x squared. We now have x multiplied by 1 over x, and this will cancel out to be 1. So the equation is x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared is equal to 9. Subtract 2 from both sides of the equation to get x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to 7. So let's focus on what we have just solved for. Starting with x plus 1 over x is equal to 3, we were able to get x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to 7. Let's now try to solve for the higher power by multiplying these two equations together. If we take the product of these two equations, we end up with 3 times 7, which is equal to 21. Now, let's multiply through. We will multiply these first terms, then we will multiply these outer terms, We'll multiply the inner terms, and we'll multiply these last terms. Performing these multiplications and simplifying, we end up with the equation x cubed plus 1 over x plus x plus 1 over x cubed is equal to 21. Now look at the middle two terms. We have 1 over x plus x, but this will exactly be equal to x plus 1 over x, which is equal to 3. So we can substitute in this value, and now let's subtract both sides of the equation by 3. So we can solve x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is equal to 18. We have raised the power of the exponent in this equation. Now, from here, there are two different ways we could go. One way is we could keep stepping up the ladder. If we multiply x plus 1 over x 
with x cubed plus one over x cubed, we will end up being able to solve for the next power, which is x to the power of four plus one over x to the power of four. We then multiply that by x plus one over x, and we would be able to solve for x to the power of five plus one over x to the power of five. But there's a neat little trick in this problem. We could actually directly solve for x to the five plus one over x to the power of five by multiplying these last two equations together. So if we multiply x squared plus one over x squared by x cubed plus one over x cubed, we would directly solve for x to the power of five plus one over x to the power of five. So let's go ahead and do it that way. Let's multiply these last two equations to get seven times 18. Now we'll go ahead and multiply these terms together and simplify, and we will end up with the equation x to the power of five plus one over x plus x plus one over x to the power of five is equal to 126. Now one over x plus x will be equal to x plus one over x, which is equal to three. So we substitute in and then subtract three from both sides of the equation to get the answer that x to the power of five plus one over x to the power of five is equal to 123. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.